you guys, I'm Anita with Kids Move and Learn, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about sharing. I know so many preschool teachers, kindergarten teachers, parents want their kids to learn how to share. It's an important skill that we have, and especially if they have to be in an environment where there's lots of toys and activities with other kids. In this video, I'm going to give you three very simple tips with three very easy activities that you can do at home to teach sharing. And as I like to call it actually, turn taking. Before I get into the three activities, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button or comment below what you think of these ideas and what you have found successful to work at home. Or if you have another activity or idea, we would love to hear it and so would the rest of the community. Did you know that sharing is so much easier to understand if you think about the word turn taking? Because the word sharing is kind abstract. It implies that you might not get it back, but when you say turn-taking, it has that implication that you're most likely going to be getting it back, right? First I do something, then you do something, then I do something, then you do something. That is a skill that is really helpful to teach for your young children to introduce as you want them to share. Start with the turn-taking. It's going to set them up for greater success down the road. Sure, you may want to use sharing at some point, but start with turn-taking. Sure, you may need to give up something at some point, but if you introduce the skill as turn taking, it's probably going to be a lot easier for the little ones to understand. The best way to do this is play games or embed the skill of turn taking during playtime. That way you're setting them up for a greater success down the road. So let me give you the three simple activities that you can do to teach turn taking without any prep and stress. So during play, if you're building or digging or knocking down things, express your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn, and you repeat this while you're playing. So let's say you're building blocks. Child puts a block up, then you put a block up. Child puts a block up, you put a block up. Express that that is taking turns. And this way you can also add in how much fun it is to watch the other person take turns. So when the child's putting the blocks on, you can show expression and excitement as you're waiting. So you're modeling for them what it feels like to wait your turn. The second activity is play a copycat game. First you do a motion and then they copy you. You introduce the word turn taking again. For example, you can do this with your body and motions. Like I'm going to cover my eyes and then you tell your child your turn to cover your eyes. Okay, now I'm going to do something new. Copy me and you can make a face and then they make a face and you can keep adding this in and make it even a little bit more elaborate by adding a prop in there. For example, have a doll and so you do something with the doll or a teddy bear and then the child does something with the doll or teddy bear or maybe it's a car or a truck express the language to them at your turn their turn a third simple way to play a game or teach turn taking during play in coloring if you only have one of a certain color practice how to take turns with that particular color if you're not sure about them giving up their favorite color start out with a less preferred color that you have in your hand and model it and say i'm going to color this green oh would you like to have a turn now and you can color green and then you can go back and forth and if they're ready to it then you can go ahead and start to ask for the preferred color that they have and take turns and model that too. So now that you have these three ideas, let me share one other really important tip that I would love every caregiver to start practicing. So often I see that when the children are starting to take turns or sharing, they add these long wait times on them. Young children, as you know, have a short attention span and that means they also aren't used to waiting. So when you're introducing this turn taking or introducing sharing, start off small amounts of time. So even if it's like 10 seconds and you can even model counting for 10 seconds, believe it or not, they may end up starting to copy you and counting them if they're ready for counting. And as they get a little older or start to understand it a little bit more, you can try to start using a timer and maybe make it for like a minute and watch and see what they do with it and sort of up that skill of waiting along with turn taking a little bit more each day. Believe it or not, timers and this sort of slowly building on how long to wait for something is a skill that teachers teach young children at the beginning when they're intentionally trying to build them up from not knowing how to wait at all to starting to build up some wait time, which they're going to need when they're around a lot of kids in a preschool or a kindergarten class. So just remember though, the concept of taking turns really helps little ones remember they're getting it back. The concept of sharing is a little bit more abstract and yes, you may need to use it. So for example, if you've got some snacks and you're dividing snacks up among the siblings, yeah, that's sharing because you're not getting it back. Turn taking and sharing 
you can separate those skills out to help target it and get your child where you want them to be so they're ready for preschool, ready for kindergarten, ready for socializing with others. And the other idea just to throw on here too is keep practicing this turn-taking activities or sharing activities with people that they care about, people that they can be comfortable with themselves because then it'll make it easier for them when they're doing it with people that they don't know, they don't trust, and they haven't built a relationship with. If you like this idea, don't forget to hit that like subscribe button. For more ideas, check out kidsmoveandlearn.com and in the description below, you'll find links to the blogs. Thanks everyone, bye.